So I want to give you a quick example on what I'm asking you to do in this part of the pro or in this part of the lesson. After you've entered this 3x into your equation or into your calculator, so so far you should have 3x and you'd have graphed. Okay, so we see this graph. The graphs are the same. Now you've already pressed trace. So this is what you'll see after you press trace. Trace is right here at the calculator. Notice I have y equals 2x minus y equals 3x. Same idea, just different numbers. Then we see the coordinates at the bottom of the screen, 0, 0. There's a blinking box right here. 0, 0 is where that blinking box is at. Once we press the right arrow key, that trace will start to move up the calculator. That'll start to move up and down the calculator. So you can see it moving up and down. Now, the y, and, the y equals and x equals are gonna change. So remember, this is a coordinate. So right now it's 0.2 over, 0.6 up. It's just a coordinate. We're gonna press the right arrow key until we get x equal to one. So this number right here should be equal to one. One. So that means I've moved one over, and after I've moved one over, I've moved three up. This y is telling me how fast or the speed or the steepness of the line, right? It's how steep it is. X is just your generic, how far over you're gonna go, okay? Depending on how far over, that's gonna tell you how far up you've gone. So this is what I'm asking you to do. This is what you need to be writing down, how much up or down for one space to the right. And then you'll have to go for two spaces, and then you find the difference between those two numbers. So this is what I'm asking you to do. If you have any other questions, let me know.